Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna start this drawing of Ben Stiller with ink. I'm going to use this micron ink pen, pens. I have all these numbers, all 08, 01, 05, 03. I'm gonna start, this is the one that I'm gonna use the most, 005. Okay. First, obviously, I need to uh, make a just a, a short analysis of the image to see the shapes of the eyes, the nose, and because I'm drawing at the same size, I'm just tracing the imaginary lines from the photo to the drawing. Okay, if you want, you can trace some lines with a pencil. That's okay. I'm gonna start just with a straight diagonal lines. I will, I will try to keep this for all this first layer. Okay. I'm drawing like I'm uh, trying to mass in. Just shapes, big shapes, not details, because that's kind of difficult to do with, with this ink, with ink. Just trying to get close to the shape. Okay. The nose is going to be like here. Okay. The mouth. Here, I'm not so sure what it is. I'm just going to make some marks. Okay, just trying to fill up with my imagination, trying to my brain that filling up all the forms. Now we're gonna see obviously all the proportion of the face and something that is really important about him is like the center line of his face is like it's broken up in like two parts. I see this like it's not just a straight uh, vertical line. It's like here is straight and then it's here changes the direction, it's tilting down a little bit to the left, has something like this and this. I gotta keep that, that in mind.
Okay. Now that I have this, it's kind of easy, a little bit easier to compare. But too risky, just too risky now to go with details to draw uh, the upper eyelid or, or make the nostrils. It's kind of difficult right now. I need to see a little bit more. I'm going, I'm going to continue shading. I will try to draw the upper eyelid. I think it's okay. Obviously, it's not perfect. I gotta move, maybe the eyes to the left or to the right a little bit.
Okay. Let's play some music. Playing in a uh, two hours practice. Hope I can make it right in two hours. Thank you. 
Making some marks just to visualize this wrinkle, his wrinkle. And then if I see that they are right, I can go and shade a little bit more dark.
I would change it to number 05. To make me this part a little bit darker.
squinting my eyes and I see that maybe I should leave the white of the paper in just this section here. It's going to be a highlight here in the middle of the nose and here in the forehead, I think, and the lower lip. Okay, that means that all this portion could be more, more dark, more dark, and here obviously, obviously more dark. Can you see how this horizontal eye line 
the horizontal eye line is different from the, the line of for the mouth. The, they are not parallel to each other. Okay. Thank you. 
If this is acrylic.
This white pen is amazing. Well, that's the only way that uh, we have for fixing any mistake when we are just drawing with ink. Well, just for a small mistakes because it's kind of transparent. I mean, it's not it's not gonna cover just perfectly. We we make it like a something really bad a mistake that could be kind of difficult to fix. Maybe I could use acrylic, white paint, white acrylic paint for fixing. I'm pretty happy now with the drawing, but I'm thinking about maybe the next drawings. And and uh, there's, there are mistakes always. The problem with working with ink is just as so difficult to erase, to fix those mistakes. And I think I, I, I gotta find a way to fix them. Yes. And maybe really white paint would be a good option, who knows? For example, here is kind of too dark. Okay, yes, definitely there is something that is not okay here. Trying to keep this clearer uh, in shade, but kind of difficult to shade because uh, there's no way to make soft marks. I mean, if I tilt the the micron just this way, it's gonna uh, it's gonna leave just um, let's say a, a thin mark that usually makes when you go like this. Yeah. Okay, I think that's it. Not so sure, not so sure. Okay, that's okay. Oh, I hope there's there is something. I hope that everything is okay. Uh, no, 
sometimes when I, as soon as I turn off the camera, I see something that uh, would be impossible to fix. Maybe here, this shadow is kind of so dark. Yeah, I think that's better. That's better, I think. Okay, that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.